What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid. What a night last night was, man. What a game. What a game, bro. Oh, man. Um, I want to talk about it real quick. Let my feelings out. Let my thoughts and shit. Um, I did have a video for the Chargers game. I did. I just actually deleted it. I ranted about how the offense lost us the game. It was terrible. Uh, I also ranted about how the defense is trash still. Um, what else did I rant about? Uh, just how we lost to the Chargers, man. We lost to the Chargers. Oh, it's embarrassing. And then I talked about Navarro Bowman signing and how um, that's going to impact us in a great way. And I was really excited for it. And sure enough, god damn, that shit paid off, man. I love the Navarro Bowman signing. This brings leadership to the linebacker position. Our weakest position is middle linebacker. And uh, he brings uh, leadership, experience, and overall fucking skill, man. Uh, the guy is a pro bowler. The guy was one of the best middle linebackers in the league for a long time with the Niners. And uh, he had that big injury that set him back. But I think what the Niners are doing right now is they, they want to like just go full on rebuild. Like They're in a rebuilding mode, obviously. They're fucking 0-6. They're trash. Uh, but I think ultimately they just want the young guys to develop and just get that re get all those reps in. And there's just no room for Navarro Bowman. Um, and so they couldn't trade him because of his, his salary cap hit. It was way too much. Teams, I don't think, were willing to trade for that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like 6 mil if, I, if I'm wrong. Um, so the Raiders signed him to a one-year, $3 million deal. He learned the playbook in fucking two days and a half. And he started. And he led the team with 11 tackles. And I thought he did. I, th I gave him a solid A-. minus. A-, minus, man. Uh, he, he was calling the plays. He was uh, communicating immediately. He was telling everyone where to be. And he had some really good angles on some players. There was a couple missed tackles I did see on Kareem Hunt. I don't know if Kareem Hunt is just really hard to tackle. Uh, but he, he was there early. He was making stops. He had a really good one run stuff against C.J. Spiller. Um, so hats off to Navarro Bowman. I cannot wait to see more of this. I cannot wait to see Corey James and Mark L. Lee back with uh, Bowman and seeing how that improves our linebacking core. Because um, I, I really like Lee and I like Corey James. I think they're very effective, especially against the run. I think they just need to get better with just experience and coverage, obviously. Um, I take that as a plus. Let, let's just talk about yesterday's fucking game. And before I do, real quick, all my Dodger fans out there, man. We're going to the World Series, baby. Oh, my God. After years, after years of not getting past certain opponents in the playoffs, the Dodgers have finally done it. They have finally gotten past the NLCS, and they're going to the World Series for the first time since 1988. I wasn't even born. And so this is the first time I get to witness this. This is extremely cool for me. So watching the Dodger game yesterday and watching the Raider game, because they were on almost at the same, they were on at the same exact time, uh, until the fourth quarter for the Raider game, and then the Dodgers uh, had destroyed the Cubs. Destroyed them. Kiki Hernandez. Okay, I won't talk about that. Let's talk about the Raiders. But anyway, shout out to all my Dodger fans that do watch my videos. That World Series hat had to cop that today. Also, cop this Raider hat that's pretty fucking sick. So if you want to stick around until the end, uh, please do so, man. Leave a lock. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts about yesterday's game. And uh, that color rush, baby. Color rush. Those jerseys are so sexy. We had the AFL uh, championship patches on them. Those were dope as shit. Um, shout out to anyone that went to the game and got one of those rally towels. God, I wish I could have one of those. Um, I wonder if anyone's going to sell them. You know how people are. Anyways, the game was great. The game was... Uh, I saw so much more from the offense, man. And guess who's back? Amari fucking Cooper. Five catches for 100 yards in the first half. He ended the night with 11 catches for over 210 yards and two touchdowns. Whew. That's what we need to see. Carr finally, we were throwing the ball more than 20 yards and we were completing passes. Cooper still dropped a couple though, a couple big ones he could have had. We still need to clean up the drops. Seth Roberts, Jared Cook still need to clean up these drops. We had some ones we left on the table on the field there that we could have had. Very important that we fix that. Marshawn Lynch got uh, got ejected, and today he got suspended a game. He's still going to get fined. Um, my th quick thoughts on that, you know what? Peters had a late hit on Carr. Don't like it. 
I'm glad the offensive line went up and we're going to get ready to rough him up. Fuck the Chiefs, man. I hate them. Uh, Marshawn, I hope you were defending your teammate and protecting your brother at the same time. I know they're like family, him and Peter's from Oaktown. But at the end of the day, man, no matter what, you got to protect your teammates. You got to have each other's backs. Um, and I didn't think he meant to push the ref. I think I don't even realize. I don't think he realized it was a ref until it was too late. Honestly, the momentum and just the adrenaline got to him too quickly. Um, so that was stupid of him, though. I hope. I really hope he was trying. It, it was for Carr and and to disescalate from Peters. And I hope he said something to Peters about that. Like that wasn't cool. Uh, don't be hitting my QB like that. Something, man. Honestly, uh, because uh, your teammates, your teammates come first. Your teammates are are your brothers too, man. So, anyways, that's that's my little thought on that. I you've seen him in the stands watching the game at the end after he got ejected and in the bar station with with Marcus Peters leaving. So, whatever. Anyways, uh, fourth quarter, man. Uh, that touchdown the Chiefs got after Keith McGill almost had the interception, which would have been our first. Inter I can't believe we don't have an interception yet. That's embarrassing. Um, is ridiculous is ridiculous and then we had two six point uh, two field goals that we missed and we left six points on the on the fucking field too that sucks um there's mistakes like that we need to really clean up pass rush still needs to be get there man Khalil Mack did have a sack he was back there a lot more he was put into Eric Fisher that one ha handed whole rush that he had oh boy ah that's why he's the fucking beast that he is but God damn it, where are you still, Khalil Mack? We need more of that. Bruce Irving. We need I thought you were pass rushing, bro. We gave you all that pass rushing time and like reps and whatever we lined you up. You're not getting to the goddamn quarterback, bro. We need more sacks. We need more sacks. The quarterback has way too much time. We are not gonna win any more games if the quarterback has that much time to throw the fucking football. Um, I am satisfied that we held Travis Kelsey to only three or uh, four catches for 33 yards. He did have that one touchdown, but in really in reality, that uh, kind of shut his ass down compared to what he's used to getting. Then again, he's been quiet all season, sort of. Um, but man, we got the ball back. The defense did what they needed to do. They got that sack right there. Uh, the offense came, uh, you know, came ready to go down. We had to go down 90 yards on this drive. We faced a fourth and 11. And Carr threw a beautiful ball to Jared Cook, and Jared Cook made a beautiful catch to get, extend the drive. And then, and then that's when it came to the deep balls. We started slinging the thing down there. Um, had a couple, had a couple uh, drops, couple bad calls. But those three plays that we threw it to the left side of the field were like the same thing. Or where two receivers were running like side by side. I did, really don't understand it, but fucking, it finally worked on the third attempt with Jared Cook there. And uh, Cook, I don't think Cook scored the touchdown. Uh, I, I honestly believe that his butt and his elbow were down before the goal line and the ball never crossed the plane. That's down at the one. Um, the replay shows it for itself. If not, then, you know, all by all means it was a touchdown, but I don't think so. Um, and then, man, the, the, the fact that we score, it gets called back. We score, it gets called back. Uh, uh, or we attempt to score, it gets called forward, you know. The, P uh, the holding call and all the calls were legit. I don't think the refs missed anything or gave us anything. I think we deserved these calls. They were holding. They held Jared Cook extremely. Uh, and same with Peterson at the end. But God, we got bailed out by that, man. Think about it. How the sour of the taste of you know in your mouth you would have knowing that the fact we lost the game and we threw it in the back of the end zone. And then the rollout play to Michael Crabtree, man. I went crazy. The Raiders win 31 to 30, beat the Kansas City Chiefs, man. I was saying, man, if the Raiders can beat the Chiefs, the best team in the league right now, five and one Chiefs, um, then we can go on and start to stack these wins. Let's change the momentum now and let's build that going into Buffalo, going into Miami, and into the bye week. Let's finish the last two weeks strong and we can start fresh after the bye in Mexico City against the defending champions. And last time we did that, last time we played the defending champions last year, we beat them in prime time on Sunday night. So I'm excited. I'm excited. We saw a lot of improvement from the offense and defense this week. Uh, I, and I hope with the 10 days rest, we can improve on that. And that's really it, man. What you guys think, comment like uh, down below. I really want to see your thoughts. Uh, uh, you know, Raider Nation, man, as awesome as we are, we are fucking idiots sometimes. I saw so much like uh, trade who, trade this, trade that, bench car. Like, 
yo, relax, bro. Um, as frustrating as it is, you know, f release Sean Smith, fire Ken Norton. Trust me, I've been saying it. But at the end of the day, uh, some of the things that we say is just ridiculous. Like benching car, it's not going to do anything, dude. Um, the team has to fight together and has to be resilient as a team and not because we benched someone. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, man, I want to show you this hat, though. Okay, so it looks like a basic Raider hat, right? Black, snapback, new era on the side and silver. Boom! Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've seen these hats. I swear to you, I, I did not see these hats. Then again, I was very young. I wasn't that young, but I was a teenager back in 2009. So I didn't have access to go to the lids and all that shit uh, to buy hats. But I saw this, and I saw this for other teams too, the Chargers. And they were just sitting there looking brand fucking new. And I just thought that was awesome. The 50 year anniversary patch on the side of the hat like that with this silver, beautiful silver uh, embroidered stitching on the side. And it just looks like a clean, basic Raider hat, but this this patch right here is fucking awesome. Commitment to excellence, of course, man. And uh, I had to go in and get this Dodger World Series hat, baby. Look at that. Oh, white and gold, baby. We're in the fucking World Series. That is so cool, man. Oh, my God. But anyways, that's my time. I had to cop this hat, so if you liked it, hey, be sure to look around lids right now, man. Um, I cop mine. Uh, over here in San Gabriel Valley. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. I'll talk to you guys later in uh, today's Friday. That's weird. Today's Friday. <laughs> uh, talk to you sometime next week. Um, and uh, again, shout out to all my Dodger fans uh, out there. Uh, if you guys are ready for the World Series, leave a comment down below, baby. There we go. LA Pride, Oakland Raiders. Commitment to excellence, baby. We're three and four, but it's all good, though. We're coming for that ass. Raiders are back, bitch.